Tut's Theorem Anderson's Proof Tut's Theorem A graph G has a perfect matching, if and only if, the number of odd components of G minus S, is at most the number of the elements of S, for every subset S of V. We refer to this condition as Tut's condition. The proof we present here is based on the paper, by Professor Ian Anderson and is known as Anderson's proof. In this proof, Tut's theorem is considered from the viewpoint of the marriage problem. For a perfect matching to exist, it is clearly necessary that Tut's condition holds. That is, for every subset S of V, the number of odd components of G minus S, is at most the number of the elements of S. For proving sufficiency, suppose that Tut's condition holds. On choosing S as the empty set, we deduce that the number of vertices of G is even. So we proceed by induction on N, where the number of vertices of G is 2N, making use of the obvious fact that, the number of odd components of G minus S, is congruent module 2, to the cardinality of S, for every subset S of V. The case N equals 1 is trivial so we proceed to the induction step. Suppose first that the number of odd components of G minus S, is strictly smaller than S, for all subset S on at least two vertices. Then the number of odd components of G minus S is smaller than or equal to S minus 2. Let E equals UV be any edge of G, with ends U and V, and consider the graph G prime equals G minus U minus V. Then Tut's condition holds for G prime. For, if there exists a subset T, of G prime, such that, the number of odd components of G prime minus T, is greater than T, then taking S, as the union of T, with U and V, the number of odd components of G minus S, is greater than or equal to S, contrary to the hypothesis. Thus, by induction, G prime, and hence G, possesses a perfect matching. We may thus assume that there exists a subset S on at least two vertices, such that the number of odd components of G minus S, equals to the cardinality of S. We can then choose a maximal such S. First we show that, the odd components of G minus S, can be paired 1-1, with vertices of S, to which they are connected in G. To do this, we use Hall's theorem. This pairing can be accomplished, unless there are k-odd components, which are connected to a subset T of S, with less than k elements. But, we would then have the number of odd components of G minus T, greater than the cardinality of T, which is impossible. Thus, by Hall's theorem, we can take one vertex from each odd component of G minus S, and pair it with a vertex of S. We are then left with the remains of each odd component, each now with an even number of vertices. Thus, consider now the remains of an odd component K, from which a vertex A has been removed. Suppose that K minus A, contains a set T of vertices such that the number of odd components of K minus A, minus T, is greater than the cardinality of T. The number of odd components of K minus A, minus T is at least the cardinality of T plus 2. Let S prime be the set formed by S plus T, plus A. Then the number of odd components of G minus S prime is greater than or equal to the cardinality of S prime. This contradicts the maximality of S. Thus, Tut's condition holds for K minus A. By induction, the remains of each odd component of G minus S, has a perfect matching. It remains only to consider any even components of G minus S. But there are not any. For if there were, we could remove a vertex from 1, and add it to S. 
This would necessarily give us, at least one more odd component, again contradicting the maximality of S. Thus, G has a perfect matching. The proof of the theorem is now complete.